Number 5. The Brazilian Pygmy Gecko Isn't this guy the cutest? Yeah, I guess some people would disagree. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, after all. Anyway, the Brazilian Pygmy Gecko can actually walk on water because it's very light and because it has hydrophobic skin, which means its skin repels water molecules. What is really ironic is that this gecko, that looks a lot like a salamander, is actually so small it could drown in a puddle. Apparently, scientists think that's why it developed the ability to walk on water, so it wouldn't drown. That, and to get away from predators, too. Number 4. Fishing Spiders Fishing spiders are lightweight and are hydrophobic. In their case, they are covered with short water-repelling hairs. They live near streams and ponds where they find food. They'll wait by the water, watching for ripples on the surface, and when they detect something, they'll dash across the water to subdue their prey. Fishing spiders also use the water to avoid getting chomped on by predators since they can hide under the surface by encasing their bodies in air bubbles thanks to those hydrophobic hairs. Amazing, right? What is also impressive is that some larger species of the fishing spiders can even catch and eat small fish, tadpoles, and even frogs. Try to imagine that. Sometimes they'll sail along the water, standing with a few legs in the air like sails, gliding along the surface. They float so well, actually, that they need to hold on to something if they want to stay under, or else they'll float right back up and emerge totally dry. Plus, believe it or not, some of the spiders can stay underwater for as long as 30 minutes. Number 3. Western and Clark's Greaves both species of grebes, the western and the clark, have this beautiful mating ritual called rushing that involves the couple running on water together. The birds lunge forward and get up on their feet with their wings beating non-stop. Then, they run across the water for up to 30 feet, sometimes taking up to 22 steps in a single second. These fascinating birds spend nearly their entire lives in the water. They have short wings and solid legs, which ironically are terrible for walking, but great for their mating dance. Number 2. Water Striders Water striders are members of the Garridae family of insects and are recognizable thanks to their ability to walk on water. Like the gecko and the water spiders, these insects, that are also called Jesus bugs, pond skaters, and water skippers, have hydrophobic legs that help increase surface tension on the water. When they sweep their middle legs in a circle, like rowboat oars, they propel themselves forward. Fascinating, right? Number 1. The Basilisk Lizard have you ever seen a basilic lizard zip across a pond or a swamp? It's very impressive. The basilic is also called the Jesus Christ Lizard, for obvious reasons. But I'm pretty sure the Son of God would never have run five feet in a second. Jesus didn't walk on water because he was evading predators either. This little fellow will drop down from its treetop home and hit the water running. Since this lizard has long toes with fringes of skin connecting them like if it had wet feet, it can stay on the surface of the water as long as it maintains its speed, kind of like a human water skiing. The quick running makes a smacking sound against the water and creates air pockets. If the basilic lizard does fall in, it can swim, but it's better for it to keep moving and to stay on the surface, because if it does go under, it can make for interesting food for some of the animals that live in the water.